When I was little, my mother told my uncle that I wasn't attractive, so I'm not too happy about that word, really. Uh, Alice and Eleven. My name's Esme and I am 13. I'm Taya and I'm 17. Um, I'm Monique and I'm 18 years old. I'm Lucy and I'm 19 years old. I'm Faith and I'm 20. <laughs> and my name's Rachel and I'm 26. I am Louise Larkin and I'm 44. Okay, my name's Emma and I'm 49 years old. Pauline and I'm 76. What first comes to mind when I say the word attractive? Um. Oh, attractive. My first thing of is looks. Look. I mean, stereotypically, it would be someone who's got like a perfect body. Someone same age as me who like is good looking. <laughs> Pretty. The first thing I think of is models. Handsome. Even though I don't think anymore that that is what attractiveness is. Someone who's into exercise would have to be someone who's smart, clean, active. I don't really care about what that person would look like, but they would have to have a lot of things in common with me. Actually, when I think about it, that is attractive about someone is someone who knows themselves and is confident in themselves. Shiny, extra, time and energy to do their makeup and make it look professional. When I was little, my mother told my uncle that I wasn't attractive, so I'm not too happy about that word, really. Okay, now can you describe the word normal? That is very difficult, because what is normal? What is normal? What everyone try, tries to be, but what is it? I think there's so many colours and shades of normal that it's completely impossible for me to say what normal is. Because what's normal for you is not necessarily what's normal for someone else. I think of someone boring. Boring. So he doesn't go against the crowd. It's not an extreme, it's just a level. It's like a single line. Anyone and everyone. No one's perfect, no one's normal. I just know that I would never want to be described as normal. There were lots of things that were forbidden, that were abnormal when I was young, that are now are considered normal. Tell me what comes to mind when I either say the word fat. Cuddly, like squishiness. Curvy. Somebody whose body mass index is over a certain amount. I'll just think of obesity. Someone who's lazy. When I think of the word fat, I think of someone who's unhealthy. A person, I'm afraid. But I hate to think of people as fat. A rather large person. Someone who's chubby. Sometimes it's not by their choice. And a lot of the time it's not their fault. That's their way of coping. Large. Now, can you tell me what comes to mind when I say the word healthy? Oh, healthy. Being fit. Sporty and fit. Running. Clean. To me, I'm afraid, is somebody who's slim. Five a day plate. Eat well, plate. Eat vegetables. Fruit. Vegetables. A person who is not just absence of illness, but lives a healthy lifestyle, balanced diet. I think of happy is a state of mind. Having a healthy mindset. That encompasses your mind, your spirit and your soul. Like mental health. Mental health. That puts them on equal footing. Like you don't do things that will make you unhappy. That gives precedence to each of them when needed. Somebody who looks after themselves. Feeling strong in yourself. So I would love for you to tell me exactly what comes to mind when I say the word ugly. That's not such a good one. I think that's an opinion. A wall of their face. An ugly person? I don't know. My initial reaction would be not pretty and that's what we're told. Sallow, baggy, droopy. Like Mary Poppins. Not Mary Poppins, Nanny McPhee. Nanny McPhee, Grey. Someone who doesn't have the facial and bodily expectations. I go to personality. Someone that has an ugly personality. Like someone mean. I don't really have anything. I absolutely no idea what I consider is ugly these days. I don't really think about the word ugly anymore. I don't think of people as ugly. Everyone's beautiful in their own way. 
so it's not a word I would ever use to describe somebody. As if the way she looks, no one likes her. What do you think of when I say the word love? Love? Yes. Ooh, love? Yes. Ooh. Oh my goodness me, how long have you got? It's connection. A big hug. Feeling kind of secure. Comfortable. Comfortable. I think of a big red heart. Understanding. Wanted. First thing that comes to mind is family. Patience. There's the love of your family. Family. There's the love of your friends. Friends. And there's the love of a romantic partner. Relationships. Love can be difficult. What holds everything together, isn't it, really? When you get married. How I felt about my husband. I've never met anyone else that I've liked anymore. And I want to spend every day with each other. I think love is one of the most important things. And knowing somebody better than, almost better than you know yourself, I think. Perfect. Thanks, Thanks you. Is that it? Yeah. That's all of them. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. Mm. One. <laughs> Sorry. Just fake it. <laughs> Don't smile, otherwise I'll giggle. And the word attractive. Me, obviously. If you had a crush on a boy, what would they look like? And like this. Whatever's like comfortable. This. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Should I do my mature woman at CNA pose? Mm. Uh. <laughs> you can edit this. Yes. <laughs> Do you want people's initial reaction? We've got that ticket to ride, I love that. It's such a good game, isn't it? It's just really so distracting. I don't want to. It's fine. Am I 44? Yes. I'm going to take a little video so I can see how rough I look. Mm -hmm. And the word... There's a frog on the roof! What? Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, that's oh, it. That's cute. Snap. Oh. <laughs> Thank you all. <laughs> For the others. What, the reaction that you said? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty similar. Oh, Perfect. Thank you, my love.